hello students today we are going to start our second one lesson of geography that is location and extent this lesson we are going to start today actually in this lesson what we are going to study we are going to study about the location location of india and its extension and third one point that we are going to study in this chapter that is historical background actually our 10th standard geography is a comparative study between india and brazil brazil is another country which is situated in south american continent with that nation our indian elements like physiological structure environment population economy all these things we have to compare with brazil so brazil one is the next one nation so our 10th standard geography is completely related with comparative study between india and brazil actually uh, one question rises in our brain about brazil that why brazil is decided for comparing with india why not uh, why not another country is decided for comparison only brazil is selected because the factors which we can find in brazil and which we can find in india those factors are somewhat similar and somewhat opposite means whatever the physiological elements we see in india like himalaya plain peninsula coastal area islands all those similar factors we can see in brazil also so for 10th standard textbook brazil and india both nations are decided for comparing or for doing comparative study so brazil is like india because whatever the similarities we can see in uh, india and brazil those similarities are like mixed economy means we have mixed economy in india so like that only in brazil also we can see mixed economy then we have republic type of government brazil has also republic type of government india has 28 states brazil has 26 states so there are some similar factors and some some opposite factors are also there completely opposite factors for example in india we can see this southern area has more temperature and northern area has less temperature means here we can see snow falling area is there but when we think about the climate of brazil brazil has opposite climatic condition when we compare with india brazil southern area is cool and northern area is hot so it is completely opposite factor we can see about india and brazil now in this lesson we have to study location extent historical background of india and brazil first of all we will we will start about india and then afterwards we will start about brazil So now let's start about India's location. Where is India's location? That we have to understand first of all. But before that, we will understand the distance between north to south and east to west. That first of all we will understand. This is the northern direction. We all know about it. And this is the southern direction. This is the western direction. This is the eastern direction. These are the four directions. and first of all we will think about the distance between northern and southern india most southern and most northern distance when we think about the distance between most southern point to most northern point and that distance is 3214 km this is the distance between north to south then we will think about the west to east this is the most western part in gujarat 
that is called Gor Mota. And in eastern area, Arunachal Pradesh is the most eastern part. And here we can see Kibuti village. So the distance between Gor Mota up to Kibuti means from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh, the distance is 2933 kilometer. 33 kilometer. This is the distance between western to eastern direction. Now we will understand about the area. How much area is occupied by India? That we will understand. Means you have to understand its area. And that area is 32 lakh 87,263 square kilometer. This area is occupied by India. When we think about all continents as 100%, so out of that 100%, how much area is occupied by India? That is only 2.41%. This much area is occupied by India and India's rank is 7th. 7th rank is there as per the area. As per the population we are the second ranker because in India we see 17.5% population live in our country. So we have inverse proportion. We have 2.41% area and we have 17.5% population means area is less but compared with that area population is high so far as we are the second ranker about population first ranker we knew about that that is China so we have inverse type of proportion so far as we have dense population now we will understand what is the density of our population in one square kilometer we see 382 persons 382 persons in 1 square kilometer area that is the density of India so we have dense population and due to that dense population we have many problems we have, uh, we have job opportunities but due to high density of population or high population uh, we have much competition. So we have many problems and those problems are created due to population only. Now we will move towards southern area. But before that we will see northern area. This is the northern area. And first of all we will understand the border. This is the land border. Northern area has land border. So distance of the land border is 15,200 kilometer. This is the distance of land border which will start from Gujarat and here northeastern side. So the dis dis distance is 15,200 kilometer. Then we will move towards the southern area. We have Arabian Sea on western side. On eastern side we have Bay of Bengal. And on southern side we have Indian Ocean. So from three sides we have water bodies. So when we think about the distance of this coastal area from Gujarat up to West Bengal, what is the distance of this coastal area? That is 7560.6 km. This is the distance of this coastal area, 7560. 16.6 km that is the distance which will start from Gujarat up to West Bengal. So this is the distance of coastal area. Now we will understand which are our neighbors. Which are our neighbors that we will understand. First of all I will plug this. Afterwards we will see. This is the western side. On northwestern side, 
this area this area is occupied by pakistan this is our north western sides neighbor then here we have afghanistan afghanistan it is uh, connected with pop actually pop is our part but it is under the control of pakistan so far as it is connected with pok so afghanistan is connected with pok so this is our northern neighbor then we have nepal here we have nepal then here we have bhutan then here china here bangladesh here myanmar then here we have island is there that is sri lanka and here we have maldives so these are our neighboring nations pakistan afghanistan nepal bhutan myanmar bangladesh sri lanka and maldives these are our neighboring countries so this is the location of india overall we have taken the information of india now we will understand its location on globe where is its location on globe that we will understand location and its extent longitudinal longitudinal extent and latitudinal extent that we will understand first of all here this is our globe we all know about it it is in spherical shape and this is the equator zero degree equator is there on northern side we have tropic of cancer that is 23 degree 30 minute then on southern side we have tropic of capricorn that is also 23 degree 30 minute so these are the horizontal lines actually there are 90 horizontal lines on northern area and 90 latitudes or horizontal lines towards the south side this is the northern pole and this is the southern pole so 90 lines are there these are the 90 lines between two latitudes what is the distance on land between two latitudes the distance on land is 111 km on land the distance between two latitudes suppose this is 0 degree and this is 1 degree so between 0 degree and 1 degree the distance on land is 111 km now we have to understand it's it is again classified into minutes means between 0 degree up to 1 degree there are 60 minutes in 1 degree there are 60 minutes and in 1 minute there are 60 seconds like our watch so whenever we have to show precise location of anything at that time we have to take the reference of its longitudinal and latitudinal extent for example 25 degree 30 minute 26 second so like that we have to uh, say about the location of anything like google map when when we share our location at the time uh, that google map shows latitudinal and longitudinal extent so then we can understand easily the precise location of anyone so there are 90 latitudes 90 latitudes are there on northern side then on southern side also there are 90 latitudes these are the horizontal lines and these are called latitudes total there are 181 latitudes 181 latitudes now we have to understand the location of india where is the location of india actually this globe is divided by this equator this equator is 
degree. So this due to this equator, our probe is divided into two sections. This northern section is called northern hemisphere. And this southern side part is called southern hemisphere. Actually, we learn these things in our fifth one and sixth one standard. Then there is one prime meridian that is the vertical line. This is the prime meridian, zero degree that is called prime meridian. And opposite of this zero degree prime meridian. There is ideal international date line that passes from 180 degree. This is zero degree and this is 180 degree. So due to this prime meridian, zero degree meridian, again our probe is divided into two parts. This part is called western hemisphere. So sorry, sorry, eastern hemisphere. and this part is called western hemisphere so these are the four parts so our probe is classified into four parts this is the northern hemisphere this is the southern hemisphere this is the western hemisphere this is the eastern hemisphere now we have to understand where is the location of india india's location is in northern and eastern hemisphere when we think about its latitudinal extent latitudinal extent means these are the horizontal lines so its latitudinal extent is 8 degree 4 minute 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute this is the latitudinal extent of india now we will see on globe this is zero degree then upside northern side we have to count eight degrees 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 8 eight lines we have to count so this is the eight degree and from eight degree four minutes slightly upside four minutes then 37 degree from here only we have to count 37 degree 6 minute 8 9 10 11 13 14 15 like that we have here 37 degree 6 minute so between these two lines this one line and this one line so our india is here this is the latitudinal extent when we think about this it's longitudinal extent and that longitudinal extent is 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minute then that also we have to count from this zero degree there are also some lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 that is 68 68 and this is 97 so this is the box in this box india's location is there so such type of india's extent we can say longitudinal extent and latitudinal extent we have latitudinal extent that is 8 degree 4 minute to 37 degree 6 minute and longitudinal extent is 68 degree 7 minute to 97 degree 25 minutes so such type of location we can indicate on these imaginary lines actually these are the imaginary lines these are uh, uh, or the network of longitudes and latitudes is called gratitude so on the globe we can show its location overall we can see its location is in northern and eastern hemisphere India's location is in northern and eastern hemisphere. So this is the location of India.
Here we will stop. Remain.